Time magazine touted it as the factory that will change everything, including reducing the cost of lithium-ion batteries by 30%. The Tesla Motor Facility will make batteries for its electric cars and is projected to be 10 million square feet in size with up to 6,500 6, jobs. Now, New Mexico is on that short list, and to get it, along with Nevada, Arizona, and Texas, it's a battle, and many assume there will be an all-out bidding war of incentives to get this facility. And, Tom, the size of this project is massive. It's just clear it could change a number of dynamics for here, us here in New Mexico. One of the things I think about is let's assume Tesla says yes to New Mexico. We would be descended upon immediately by an international press corps that would literally set up camp here to gauge every step of the way of this thing. It is, you can't even describe how big this would possibly be. Do we need to go give away the house? Do we need to give away the state though to make that happen? Where are we on that? Well, I think there are two things with that. You know, mm -hmm. I, it's up to the economic developers and the government government to decide what's possible to give away. Right. You know, I think if it's if you give it away at the expense of public education, mm -hmm. then that's going to be you know that's not. I don't think that's a real big positive. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the microscope. You know, let's say it happens. Right. The microscope on New Mexico, as far as our processes, mm -hmm. uh, the ability to get the job done, uh, staffing, mm -hmm. um, are all you know going to be there but also uh, in addition to the press corps that will you know be looking at New Mexico you're going to sure. have more side businesses coming right. as a result Love and it. that I think you know that's where the you know the ripple effect that I think will be very positive mm -hmm. for all of New Mexico wherever that uh, plant could locate. That's right because Sophie we're not talking about the typical all oh, these would be construction jobs but the actual permanent jobs are a very low number this is a real like 6500 could be a massive amount of people spilling in and out of there scientists down to laborers, everybody. Absolutely. I mean, everybody t gets a touch here. Absolutely, I think it's I think it's worth noting um, that the capacity of the Tesla plant. Um, there are some predi prediction that it won't just be producing batteries for the cars, right. that it will produce batteries for industry as well. Yeah. And so that we are, if we if we got the plant, we would be tied to the fortunes of Tesla, but also mm -hmm. have that um, have that extra incentive, the extra backup with batteries. For I like the way you just said tied to the fortunes of Tesla. We have been down this road of being tied to we, fortunes. We have, haven't we? And Intel is the great example. Exactly. Keep going, um, please. And as we've seen Intel's business model shift, and their mm -hmm. presence in New Mexico shift, we've also seen that there is a limit, a time limit on the amount of time that something, a project like this can mm -hmm. uh, help the state. And I think that there are some lessons that we've learned from the Intel experience, mm -hmm. which is not to say, I mean, Intel is obviously still sure. here, still a, an active uh, member of our community, our business community, mm -hmm. but we need to remember that it's not all sunshine and roses. We need to be careful about how we work with companies mm -hmm. to, to best ensure sure that they uh, are able to stay with us for the long haul. Sure, because Jim, let's make an assumption here. If we, if uh, we're assuming we get it, this is, we're still under this, but let's say down the road, as Sophie is saying, markets, places change, all of a sudden you have this 10 million square foot empty facility. <laughs> you see, and that's happened in this world, in this country, that happens. You know, and do we have the stomach for this, I guess is what I'm saying. Can we roll the dice here and be a different kind of a state in our chase for this thing and then accommodate their needs completely? We're going to have to find out, aren't we? Well, there, there's a couple of pieces. One, um, I mean, Albuquerque certainly has a developing tech mm -hmm. kind of industry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are, we're expanding beyond the Intel, Sandia, um, Kirtland as being our, our core, and we've got a lot of this kind of small um, tech industry kind of simmering under beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. I think to, to bring Tesla really shows that um, like that's working and, mm -hmm. and I think that, that out of that will bloom um, a lot of support for th that those tech sure. industries. Sure. Um, so that, that's significant. That being said, th I mean the, the concept of, of a 10 million square foot facility being va vacant, I mean that's the equivalent of a building that is two miles long right. by two miles wide. Right. I mean, you walk around it three times and you've done a marathon. And there are not many people who could use a facility that big. No, that's, that's so. right. And so there's, there's high risk there. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, the state has been effective in, um, in establishing clawback procedures mm -hmm. uh, to, to in some way recoup challenges after someone, after a company doesn't meet their obligations. Mm -hmm. That being said, how we balance that in this market of, you know, put everything on the table, mm -hmm. that's, that's yet to be seen. Interesting, right? Laura, what interests me when I read about this from these experts on these things around the country is the prospect of a railroad line seems to be 
a difficulty, meaning these batteries are heavy. You got to get them to California. They're not, you know, going to be over the road trucks. You got to have a rail spur to do this. I'm wondering, you know, not to, you're not a railroad expert, but I'm curious if that's going to be the make or break for us because there's a spur near El Paso. There's, you know what I mean? There's places we could pull this off, but I don't, I don't see one really near the Albuquerque Metro to make this work if they need a railroad spur. Right. I mean, well, and actually, I'm not a railroad expert, but mm -hmm. I have had to, you know, work on some. Tr transportation related issues, but we do have mm -hmm. um, some rail here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it isn't, uh, you know, it could stand to, to be updated in some cases, and, and I don't think it's as, it's used as much as maybe other pathways, but we right. do have rail in, in this location. I think it makes Albuquerque ideal for rail as well as mm -hmm. um, uh, cargo on the interstates. Um, I think one of the things about Albuquerque, though, is that, you know, we, we we have to be competitive when it comes to the incentives that we provide because mm -hmm. we also don't have a lot of the other amenities mm -hmm. that some of the other locations have. Fair enough. I mean, yep. being able to fly in and out of Albuquerque right. becomes more expensive than flying in and out of Phoenix and out of Vegas in mm -hmm. some cases. I mean, we have sort of a, a different culture here, but that also means that the benefit is that they become the big fish in, sure. this, in this small pond. That's right. And with that comes a lot of advantages as well as a business owner. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think that we have to be as competitive as we can be, but I think the clawbacks are also key. Mm -hmm. We don't want to become a Detroit, for example, where sure. all of a sudden, you know, things don't work out and sure. we've fallen through the cracks. See, that's fair enough, too. You know, the electric car thing as a marketplace, Tom, has yet to be fully developed. We don't know what the demand is out there yet. We don't know what the demand is for Tesla. Tesla doesn't even know at this point, certainly. Mm -hmm. And so we, it's, it's a risky proposition, but so is sending people in space for a joyride for $200,000. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you look at innovation, you know, mm -hmm. New Mexico definitely is a risk taker, mm -hmm. you know, whether it is a spaceport, whether it's WIP. Mm -hmm. uh, granted, they have their own issues right now, mm -hmm. but you know, it's uh, you know, we're taking the chance on you know on the next step, whatever mm -hmm. that is. In fact, the intermodal um, facility down in uh, Las Cruces or Santa Teresa mm -hmm. could actually come into play to benefit this That's because right. uh, you know if it, if there's a maquila type of uh, aspect as a part of this, which in the automotive mm -hmm. industry is the standard you know status quo, sure. uh, then we're set up real well because it's That's only right. three and a half hours to Albuquerque from Santa Teresa, whereas mm -hmm. to Tucson, which is our next closest competitor. Mm -hmm. Still about four hours. So, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of positive things. Sandia National Labs, you know, uh, past corporate companies with a proven track record. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, Solar City. Uh, with its presence down in Alamogordo and then right. Fort Bliss, huh. you know, a company that uh, Elon Musk has a, a very uh, high interest in. So he's familiar with working with the state. Right. And um, so, right. you know, I think there are just a lot of positives sure. for New Mexico going into sure. this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Water, Sophie. We don't know what their needs are going to be, but they're going to need some water. In fact, they may need a lot of water. Who knows? I don't, I don't know how one makes a battery. I don't know what the water issues are. It's what if it's a ton it's of water? It's interesting that because that of the it? geography, because of the geography um, needing proximity to California, all of the states that they're looking at are going to have water issues. Gotcha. Um, Nevada, Arizona, New we all have mm -hmm. it. And so, um, to the extent that water is an issue, this is something that Tesla's gonna have to address wherever they go mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, what, and whatever state they choose. Is New Mexico in a, in a better or worse position than those other states? Um, I, I think it remains to be seen. Well, and Please. to that end, mm -hmm. I, from the folks that I've talked to, is the brackish water that they're interested mm -hmm. in the process, of which New Mexico sure. has a high abundance of that. Yeah. Interesting, and we also have out of Los Alamos, I can tell you from a previous Technology Ventures Corporation presentation two years ago, we have technology here to clean brackish water and make it somewhat usable. Not potable, but we can do something with it. So all those technologies, I think, Tom, and all you guys are starting to say, I think if we pull this off, everyone's going to rise to it. I really do. I really think all these things are going to happen, and we're going to surprise ourselves if we can only hope. Let's see what happens. Now, in a minute, we're back with an author of a book that explores the wives of the Manhattan Project scientists.